Hey guys, welcome to Kluji Tech Time. I'm David, and this right here is the DJI Mavic Mini. And you may not know, but there was a couple of updates that was just released for this. And no, they're not firmware updates. They were just updates in the DJI Fly app. So this is version 1.0.8 and uh, it was just released a few days ago, and it contained two important updates, and I'm guessing that these updates were initially updated in firmware in previous versions. I don't know, maybe they've always been there, but they were just released for the DJI Fly app, and they're two items that aren't even on the list uh, in the release notes, so I don't know why DJI wouldn't put these in there. I think that these are way more important than the silly things that they put in the release notes, but number one is the white balance and number two is you can adjust whether you want when you lose connection between your controller and your aircraft you can control whether you want to return to home have it just hover in place or whether you want it to land where it's at and that is the wording they actually use is descend so we're going to talk a little bit more about those. Before I get into that, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video freelancing, and much more. They have a premium membership that gives you unlimited access to all of their classes. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. One of the classes I found useful when I first got started with drones was Drone Photography Shoot Professional Photos with Any Drone. I didn't have a background in photography and with this class I was able to learn about so many different aspects of photography as they relate to drones. And I was able to do it in small bite-sized chunks at my own pace. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, just click the link in the description below and you'll get two free months of premium membership with unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. The two updates that are really important that I think you should know about, even if you don't want to change them, you should know that they're there so you can decide when they are appropriate to use for your particular scenario. So first one is the white balance update. So with the DJI Mavic Mini, you didn't have any control in video of being able to lock in your white balance at any time. Now this is a big problem for video because as you're rotating around with your drone, you're moving and you're seeing different things, it would actually be seeing different things in the environment and it would adjust the white balance. So it would adjust how blue or yellow the scene is. And this is important in a lot of different scenarios where you're sometimes pointing to the ground, sometimes to the sky, just the environment around the it is changing. And so you wanna be able to have the ability to lock this in. And for every other camera that I use, I always lock the white balance in. Now, they have added a feature, they've kind of hidden it a little bit in the menus, makes you kind of have to go, go find it. I really wish they would have just added it as part of the camera menu, but that's not where they put it. They put it in the, the menus a little bit deeper. So you have to go into the upper, the three dots in the upper right hand corner, go to the camera in the top, in the middle, scroll down to find advanced shooting settings. And then in there, you will find white balance. And by default, it will be set at auto. I'm gonna go ahead and change that over to manual. Now, this is one of the places that they kind of skimped on the what they did here. Most cameras are gonna have the option to choose a little button that's gonna say sun, sunshine, cloudy, shadow, and maybe a couple of different options like that. And then maybe give you a custom option to be able to set the actual Kelvin which is the, uh, the way the measurement that white balance is, is measured in is in Kelvin, but they just give you a slider that, be, that allows you to be able to choose an actual Kelvin value. Now, I'm gonna put on the screen here some, some normal Kelvin values that you're probably going to wanna use. Two of them that you're probably going to wanna use is 5500K or somewhere right around 5500K is generally considered normal daylight balance. Some people say around 5400, 5500, but somewhere in that range is gonna get you pretty close to, with the sunshine out, normal daylight. 
And then somewhere up closer in the 6200, 6300 is probably going to be somewhere around where you're going to want to be for cloudy days. But the most important part is that you can fix it. You can set it so that it's not wavering all over the place as you're moving around the environment. Sometimes whites are orange and sometimes whites are blue. By doing this, you can set it so that it's locked in and makes it so that your video is going to look better and it's going to make it so that it's just more consistent. Uh, that is one, op one of the new features that is in the DJI Fly 1.08 that you're going to want to know about. Now, the second one that you're going to want to know about is the ability to be able to change what happens when you get a disconnect between here and here, right? And that happens with the Mavic Mini. It's Wi-Fi. So you have some, sometimes you have some connection problems depending upon where you're at. Right here where I'm at, I'm in an open field. There shouldn't be uh, much going on in terms of other Wi-Fi interference and stuff, but you just never know. So in order to be able to change the setting, and I would, I would put a big asterisk up here and say, caution, 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 make sure you know what you're doing before you change this. And this is something that if you do change this from return to home to either descend or hover, you're going to want to make sure that if you're in a different environment sometime in the future that you remember to change that back. Now, why would you want to change this? So one example is if you're flying inside of a building, right? If you're flying in a building and for some reason you get a disconnect, you don't want it to raise up to 300 feet and then try and come back to you, right? Uh, in a building, you're probably not going to have a great GPS connection. And then you also got a roof over you, you got walls around you and stuff like that. So you're probably not going to want it to do a return to home. Another scenario is that you may actually be, ha be like in a forest or something, right? Where you got a tree canopy over the top of you or you got something over the top of you. You don't want it to do that return to home process. And if you don't know how the return to home works, check out up here in the top left or actually down in the description below. I've got a great video where I talk about return to home for the Mavic Mini. Uh, I highly suggest that anybody who, who owns a Mavic Mini watch that video because uh, uh, there are a lot of details that you can pick up on that. But with the return to home, what it generally does is it raises up to uh, a return to home altitude and then it flies back to you and then it comes down. So that's one of the reasons why you may not want to have return to home set in all settings is if you have something over the top of you. Now, another example may be that maybe you're doing something active, right? And you're not going to be in this location where you take off. This is the return to home place, right? Maybe you're out on a boat or you're, you're moving in some fashion and you're not going to be back here where your, your uh, land or your launch spot was at. And so you might want to just set it to uh, hover if you get a disconnect, right? So um, maybe you're, you're uh, going across the field over there, you're going down a trail or something like that. Uh, you're on a boat. Um, maybe you just want it instead of uh, a landing where it's at, maybe you want it to just hover, right? Instead of maybe uh, having it raise up and going back to where it, or it originally took off, maybe you just want it to hover in place. But I would just suggest that you really think through uh, we, those options and what are the positive and negatives of making those changes. And I think for most people, keeping it at return to home, unless you have a good reason not to, the, leaving it at return to home is probably the best idea. Okay, so I'm gonna test it out here, uh, see what the behavior is. I'm, gonna, I'm in this open field here. So remember that you have to be further than 20 meters away, which is about uh, 65 feet, uh, I believe if my conversion's about right. So before you can do, uh, before a return to home is really going to work, uh, you have to be further than that away. Uh, otherwise it'll just land in place regardless of what your setting is. I'm gonna test this out. I'm going to go down towards the bottom of this, advanced safety settings, and you'll see there at the top, signal lost, and there is return to home, there's descend, and there's hover. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is uh, turn on. It is def defaulted to return to home, I believe. I'll just go ahead and hit record, Let's take off. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go, go back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. I'm gonna raise up a little bit. 
and we are 140 feet away right now so i'm just going to uh <laughs> this gives me pause every time i uh, uh, want to do something like this but i'm going to turn off my remote control so just turning off my phone or something or disconnecting the cable isn't going to disconnect the connection between the remote control and the the drone so i am going to go ahead and turn off the remote control so says rc not connected so after i think it's about 20 seconds the drone should yep it's raising up and it's going to come back to us and hopefully i'm still recording on the drone so that you guys can see this got nothing over the top of us okay so it's coming back and it's descending it's going to descend here right now so hopefully it comes back to where you guys can see it and I'm going to stick my hand under it yep and again my remote control is turned off so it's not sure what to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. It's probably saying the landing area is not suitable. I don't want them to land on the grass. Eh. There we go. So. <laughs> It's uh, automatically, when I turned it off after, I think it's about 20 seconds, if I remember correctly, it uh, went ahead and it did a return to home. Now, let's do, let's go into the settings again. And let's go to descend here. And get back out of that. We're still recording. So hopefully you guys can still see that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take off. Take off. Okay. Can you guess? Where is it at? Can you guys see? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm just going to go back. Here, let me raise up a little bit. Point it right at you guys, and then you may, still probably not going to be able to see. So let's go back about 70 feet. There's 50, 60, 76 feet. So let's just verify what our setting is. Again, advanced safety settings. We're going to say descend. It's in the grass there. Actually, let's do hover first. That way I don't have to go get it. So I'm just going to go ahead. So it's set at hover. So I'm going to turn off the remote controller again rc's not connected and uh, we're gonna wait like 20 seconds or 30 seconds or something like that uh, you got any jokes uh, by the way while we're waiting uh, i'm awful at jokes or i'd tell you some jokes myself but uh okay so it's just sitting there so far and uh yeah, I, I would guess by now we're uh, close to 20 seconds in. And it's just hovering. It's not doing anything. It's not returning to home. It's not landing or anything like that. It's just hovering. Now, keep in mind, if you have your drone 3,000 feet away and uh, you have it 400 feet up and you've got this setting and uh, you get disconnected, well, it's not coming back home, right? It's uh, just staying there until the battery dies. So uh, you're going to want to try and get yourself closer, uh, get yourself a signal or something, uh, or uh, you're going to have some problems. So uh, keep that in mind if you go in and you change the setting. All right, so let's go ahead and turn our controller back on. So it is still just sitting there. It's not moving. It's just sitting there hovering. So we'll wait until we get a feedback. All right, we got a feed. 
So now I can just bring it back in. Hopefully you guys can see that. Of course, there's a helicopter way out there, but don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the next one is that we are going to, uh, let's uh, grab another camera. So here is the Osmo Action. And uh, we're going to go in and we're gonna change it to Descend. Okay. Let's uh, scoot it out. We're gonna scoot it out a 70 some odd feet again. Raise it up a little bit. Here we'll go, that was 100 feet. All right, so there's 70 feet right there. So I'm gonna walk out and so you guys can actually see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the controller off all right and uh, we can see the drone hopefully you can see the drone is sitting right up here beautiful clouds by the way so you can see now it's descending and my uh, controller is turned off so I don't want it to land in the grass so uh oh oh it landed in the grass but it landed in a soft spot. So now it, I just turned the controller back on and it's still not connected yet. You can see the dots flashing. There we go, we're connected again. We can see that it's down in the grass. So that is, uh, so that is the three options. Uh, let me grab the drone, bring it back to us. Yeah, so that is the three options we have. We have return to home, we have descend, and we have hover. So remember, just be super careful, super duper careful when you choose to use those other options. If you choose to set your option when you lose connection to either a um, descend or hover, Make sure you're doing that in the right situations and for the right reasons. Uh, for most of you guys, you're not gonna wanna mess with those, I think. I think most of the time you're gonna wanna leave it at return to home uh, and you're not gonna wanna leave it to move it to those other options. And if you do change that option to something else to descend or hover, make sure that after you leave that environment, you change it back to return to home because if you fly outside, most of the time, I think you're gonna to wanna to be at return to home. So uh, those are the two new things that I found in the new DJI Fly. Uh, check them out, hope that was useful for you guys. I hope you have a great day. Hope you guys are staying safe with all the craziness in the world that's going on. I hope to see you guys again on another video. Don't forget, in the meantime, if you're safe and you can, get out and go fly it and have a lot of fun. Hope to see you on another one soon. Ciao, guys.